Hi, my name's Adnan Hussain. I want to share some of the motion capture techniques that I've been working on lately. It's a, very much a work in progress, but I feel like there's enough there to spark some conversations and give people some ideas. The first step was to record the body motion capture data, which I recorded using software called iPi Recorder. And that used hardware, three um, Kinect 360s for the Xbox. In this recording, you can see the depth sensor data, and then in the corner of each window, you can see the RGB, like there's the color data. And I did use some PS Move controllers in this session, but I didn't actually use the data from them because there was a lot of shaking and things. But once I recorded the motion capture for the body, I brought it into iPi Recorder for tracking and retargeting. So the first step is you align this skeleton to your motion capture uh, depth data, which is pretty easy, pretty quick. And since I was recording laying down motion, I started with a laying down T-pose. And so you just let the software track. It took about a second per frame and areas where there isn't good coverage, you may end up kind of helping it by tracking the hands, moving them in place and tracking forward from there and stuff. So to retarget the data, I brought in an FBX containing an FK skeleton with my model skin to it. And I retargeted the motion capture data to my character and then exported that out as an FBX file. For the hand motion capture, I used software called Breckel Hands Pro and a leap motion controller. So you basically can put the leap motion controller on a desk and move your hands on top of it and record some good uh, hand like wrist motion and fingers. For facial motion capture, I use the face cap app in the iPhone X and this is a lot of fun. So you can see like the video and then the motion capture data being applied to the face. The next step after that was to take all of that data and apply it to my rig in Maya. So here I'm using the advanced skeleton rig for the body, which makes it really easy to apply motion capture data to the body. I basically imported my rig into a new file and imported the uh, motion capture FBX for the body. And advanced skeleton, as you can see, once I you know hooked it all up, the motion capture data was on the rig. Now, there are a few issues, you know, like the hands are going through the body and things like that, but those are not really anything difficult to fix using some animation layers and offsets. But overall, it's like I got about 70% of the way there with the motion capture. So using Advanced Skeleton, I was able to just use like the mocap mapper and uh, connect the motion capture skeleton to the rig. Once the data looked good, I was able to bake the keyframes onto the controls for the rig, which makes it really easy to just, you know, create a new animation layer and make all your edits and things in there, uh, create offset layers to make adjustments and then bake it down. And I reduced some keys here and there just to get some of the little bits of jitter, maybe like too many keyframes uh, in there, like that, those micro movements out especially because this is a more stylized character. You don't really need all of that. And so here you can kind of see a bit of the process. Uh, once it's been cleaned up, no facial motion capture on this yet and no hand motion capture either, but just the body having offset the arms, rotated them a bit and uh, reduced some of the keyframes and kind of chosen just the portion of the motion capture that I wanted for the shot. It was really easy to record multiple takes and have lots and lots of data. This ended up being a 435 frame shot, which would have taken a long time for me to animate. 
and by using motion capture I feel like I was able to get to a place where I just needed to refine it further a lot quicker. So in this file you can see the facial motion capture on the 3D head that's kind of floating above the character. So that's the FBX that face cap exports and it basically has all the blend shapes from Apple's AR kit uh, keyframed on here based on the motion capture that I recorded. So I used that to drive the facial controls for my custom facial rig on this character. And I actually have more than the like 50 AR kit blend shapes. I added additional ones for some visemes for kind of pronouncing words and things and of some other expressions. But just with the custom Python script, I was able to transfer that data over to get this motion capture facial data to drive my facial rig. And again, it was the same thing. You know, I reduced some keys here and there. I um, offset a few F curves to make the jaw not open as wide. And I added some additional animation on top. So for the hands, you can see this is the FBX from Breckel Hands. So I took the wrist and I constrained it to the wrists of my rig. So both hands were oriented correctly and they were moving with the character. Again, I created a custom Python script to do that. And after that, it was just a matter of applying those rotation values to the hand controls on the rig. And again, you know, since it was just keyframes on the controls at that point, it's easy to uh, edit the F curves and edit the animation any way that you need at that point because they're just keyframes on your controls. And so here at the end, you can see all the data brought into Unreal. And it's all rendered in real time, including the hair, which is created in XGen and then exported as Alembics out. So this was just a proof of concept to test out some of these techniques to create the workflow for my animated film. I plan to take it a lot further, but I feel like it's at a good starting point to where hopefully you can see how uh, you can use motion capture even if you don't have a huge budget and don't have a lot of resources to really add to the quality of your performance. If you're interested in learning more, hit the subscribe button and let me know your thoughts. If you have any suggestions for making improvements, that would be amazing. I mean, I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. And thanks a lot for watching. Ha ha, it's very